This is Renee Romeo of ReneeRomeo.com. Today I'm sharing with you a great pearl of wisdom on how to choose the correct window treatment for your space. So a lot of professionals out there have great computer generated visualization tools for you to be able to look at and say yes or no according to whatever window treatment they're presenting to you. But if you want to do this as a DIY project, which that's what we're all interested in doing here, is you really need another type of tool that's in inexpensive, easy to use, and does the exact same thing that the pros do. So let me get started and show you exactly what you need. I have a container of thumbtacks and I also have three yards of muslin and I have it rolled up on this great little fabric roll so it doesn't have too many wrinkles in it when I unravel it. And really the great thing about muslin is that it's less than two dollars a yard to purchase. You can get it almost anywhere that sells fabric and it's a great inexpensive way to use this muslin as a visualization tool. And I can see exactly how fabric is going to look in the room, what it's going to pick up on as far as the furnishings are concerned. Is it going to enhance the look of the room or is it going to detract from some of the features that are in the room? And in this case, you know, one of my issues here is I have a four poster bed and I don't want something that's going to compete with that. I really want the bed to really stand out. And that's the other thing that you need to be concerned with too when you're choosing window treatments is what do you want people to focus on the minute they walk in that room? Is it the gorgeous window treatment? Is it the gorgeous bed? Is is it a gorgeous painting? So this is one of the things that you can do with a little cheap inexpensive piece of fabric. It's going to really steer you in the right direction. I'm at the top of the window casing. I'm going to be putting a tack into this casing itself, but not into the front of it. I'm going to be putting it to the top. And I'm also not putting it into the drywall so I don't ruin anything on top of the window. So I can get a good temporary feel of how a valance will look on the window. So that's the first one. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to have this still folded in half lengthwise. Uh, it's going to give us a really nice drop from top to bottom, about 21 and a half inches. And that's really the perfect length for a window window treatment somewhere around there uh, really really give you a great visual on what this is going to actually look like when it's finished so the tacks are going in to the top of the window casing and you'll see I'm just going to continue this along the length now look what this three yards of muslin allows me to do. It allows me to make a mock valance and the valance actually has two tails on either side so I can see what maybe a little jabot might look like and it comes across straight across the window. So you can stand back and look at this and if it's a little bit too severe for you, go ahead and take another tack and you can put it in the center here and you can pull this up and make it look like a mock swag. So here, just like this, put it up into that casing again, and then you can stand back and visualize that. And that might be the perfect answer to your problem of what type of window treatment to put in your room. Something that's really nice and soft, something that's more swag-like versus something more severe. So this really gives you a great visual tool to decide that, but there's more, so let's do another one. So instead of using this folded in half, let's go ahead and open it up all the way, and then we can visualize what this is going to look like if it were actually hung as a drape. So the drape can get put up in here, and then I'll just pin it in two more areas and then I can kind of arrange that out a little bit and really get a good feel of how nice and billowy actual drapery panels would be in this space. So this is another reason why three yards of muslin is the perfect length to purchase for this purpose. So you can take your fabric and you can just visualize this and just kind of place it directly on the floor and see what it looks like if you have that drape actually end right at the floor nice and clean. But there's also a little extra fabric here so that you can kind of take it and puddle it on the floor and really get a good idea of how this is going to lay and actually hang down. Because this is fabric, uh, it's going to be very similar to anything that you're going to make or purchase. So why spend six dollars on something like this? Well, you know what? You're not going to be making holes in your walls. You're not going to be installing something that may not be right for that space. You're going to know it with this six dollars that you spent. You will absolutely know it as soon as you get it up on your window. So before you sit down at the sewing machine and actually pound something out, a project, a window treatment, whatever, do this instead. This is really great it's what I do every single time. 
So this is Renee Romeo of ReneeRomeo.com. If you like this project, please like, share, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'd so appreciate you leaving me a comment saying hello and you know, let me know if you like this project or if you'd like to see more of these. So again, thank you so much for watching. Renee Romeo, ReneeRomeo.com, your DIY expert.